good morning to all of you welcome back to hospitality engineering today we will discuss about the electrical safety why electrical safety is important over 40% of the fire accident in buildings are caused due to electrical issues according to data from the national crime record bureau ncrb in 2015 it stated nearly 13 electrical deaths an average day in the india whereas available data in media it clearly said 30 to 35 deaths are happen due to the electrical malfunctioning electrical shocks etc you can see here the highest casualty it is in madhya pradesh and maharashtra even karnataka and rajasthan also more electrical accident as per the the national crime record bureau in 2018 uh, report where the fire safety in india is emerging as a big concern there are so many fire accidents are happen mainly the fire accidents are happen due to the electrical in building if you see the more uh, fire accidents are happening due to the electrical fault what are the causes of the most electrical accident in buildings the 80% contributes to the following reason you can see here the loses and improper wiring this is one of the very important problem in the electrical accident the substandard electrical fittings the always now when we take the quotation we go with the lowest one we don't bother about the quality then obviously the substandard electrical fitting causing a major electrical accident poor maintenance of the wiring end user inadequate awareness of national building codes electricians and technicians those taking care of the buildings and the hospitality they should be familiar with the building national code they should prepare the checklist out of this code so that they can able to train their team in old buildings the installed aged equipments and the cable which degraded the insulations and increases the load for example if the building is more than 30 years old it is necessary to replace the old wiring electrical subcontractor keen on cost cutting completely ignore the safety norms the another 20% contributes mainly untrained workforce and unskilled workers what we think the skilled labor is not cheap the cheap labor is not skilled this concept everyone should understand while we recruit the manpower especially for the technical people we have to pay more we have to take a skilled labor what is electrical safety for better understanding here electrical safety is broken down into three distinct topics of discussions one is perspective and responsibility second one mode of electrical safety third electrical safety resources each topic is independent but all three relay on the availability and enforcement of the others for full implementation of safety measures one without the others results in exposures to the hazardous or potentially hazardous effect of electrical energy and its impact on personal and equipment you will see what is perspective and responsibility there are 
four are groups are involved in this engineer contractor maintenance and manufacturer the proper mind frame is the first steps to establishing responsibility to enforce standard of electrical safety so perspective determines the impact electrical safety has on one's work the four perspectives are defined by the recognized and accepted role within the building industry we can't hold only the in-house engineers responsible for the safety because buildings depends on the outside contractor also manufacturers design team all together we have to hold the responsibility engineer perspective equipment rating conductor capacities selective coordination of overcome protective to device adherence to applicable codes supply demand equality general power distributions methods contractor perspective proper mounting of equipment adequate tightening or torque of connections use of correct tools minimizing of insulation abrasion on site coordinations with other contractor adherence to applicable codes maintenance perspective the maintenance perspective identifies measures necessary for electrical safety in the operation of a system preventive maintenance monitoring of equipment parameters use of safety measures when working on equipment following the tag out procedures use of correct tools thorough knowledge of system adherence to applicable codes wearing a right choice electrical personal productivity equipment which we call it ppe manufacturer prospective the manufacturer prospective identifies measures necessary for electrical safety in the creations and construction of equipment and devices equipment rating conductor capacities selective coordinations of overcurrent productive devices adherence to applicable codes supply demand equality general power distribution methods proper mounting of equipment adequate tightening or torque of connections use of correct tools preventive or preventative maintenance monitoring of equipment parameters mode of electrical safety once perspective and responsibilities are determined electrical safety is further defined by mode there are three major modes preventative or preventive maintenance mode reactive mode and real time mode we will see one by one preventative mode the preventative mode is identified by administrative action utilized to ward off or prevent electrical measures prior to work being performed a list of actions for the preventative mode should include implementation of preventive maintenance programs required tag out lag out procedures instituting second checks requirement for de-energizing during the troubleshooting resourcing applicable codes during design real time mode the real time mode is identified by procedural action to ward off or prevent electrical measures while performing work in many cases the real time mode is the implementation of action identified in preventative mode a list of action for the real time mode should include preventative maintenance being performed tag out or lag out procedures being completed during system repair second checks while de-energizing equipment applying core requirements during design correct installation procedure 
proper diodes on equipment supports torque checks reactive mode the reactive mode is identified by procedural and administrative action utilized to address electrical measures that are occurring or have occurred the reactive mode tends to be the main focus of many established programs and generally garners the most attention by others outside the buildings industry because of the detrimental effect electrical measures can cause a list of action for reactive mode should include fire suppression training electrical shock training cpr training electrical shock victim identification emergency planning electrical system orientation electrical safety resources in india mainly the national building code 2016 which we call it npc covers all the aspects required for the electrical safety and also the state electricity boards also release various gos time to time which implies for the standard standard for the concern state nfpa 70 national electrical code also it is very important each property is unique so operation team they have to prepare the each electric equipment safety list how to create your building electrical safety resource first refer the electrical design brief report which we call it dbr refer as built electrical schematic drawings refer each electrical equipments user and service manual address the ceig and annual electrical inspection points create your own hd lt checklist for electrical safety thank you for watching if you have any question please email to me hope you all subscribed to our hospitality engineering in case if you are not subscribed please subscribe it see you in another training session thank you